โอเคน้องนายเออ uh, I'd like you to summarize the story that you have just read Uh, you can uh, start when you are ready. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so right now, John is at a pet store to choose which pet is going to be his present for his birthday, and he asks his parent if he could get a horse, but his parents say no because the horse is too big for his house. And then after that, he. The first thing that he say it's um, cats and dog, and the little dog is called puppy, and little cat is called kittens, and he like them very much. But one day it will go grow larger and bigger, and he no wonder because he wants a small pet, and then he saw a uh, animal in the cage. There are um, a rabbit. A guinea pigs and a mice, and he liked them because they are small. And he saw no he, and next to it he see a bird too. They are a parrot and canary. He liked them because they are small and cute, but he don't want to clean the cage. And after that, he saw a tank full of water. There are a fish and a turtle. And he thinks about a goldfish and a turtle. And after that, he see a, a tank with a rock and a sand. There are scorpion, snake, and spider, but he afraid all of them. So he, now he decide about a goldfish and a turtle, and he choose a turtle because mm -hmm. he like. The turtle more, but if he shoes a turtle, the turtle won't fit in a little fish bowl that he has in his house. They need uh, a bigger space for some time hikes and swim. After that, after he shoes the turtle for his birthday present, he bites the. Book of how to take care of turtle and lets the name of a turtle that had in the store. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Very good job. Okay. How about yourself? What uh, what kind of pets have you got? Or you um, yeah, I don't have any pets. But if uh, if you could have, what would you like to have some or? One or I don't know as many as what possible. I feel like, what well, I mean right now, I don't want any pets to oh. take care of. Why not? Yeah, because first of all, you need to pay attention to it. You need to take care of them very much, and and if one day if you spend time with them very much, like you get really close with them. Of course, one time they're gonna die, and I'm gonna feel sad about that. Can't bear that kind of feeling, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can understand that because um, it happened to my um, my family as well. Um, we used to have like about four or five dogs in our house, right? At that time, it was like quite young. I was quite still young. I mean, I'm a lot younger than this. And um, the first time that I saw was my my eldest sister. She loved those dogs very much, right? And one day, one of them died because the he was like very old, yeah. So he died, and oh my god, that was the first time that I saw my sister cry like mad, you know. That was the uh, the first time, and then the second time was another doctor. Uh, sorry, I mean the 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 dog. I think they 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 my, maybe they were like husband and wife. Yeah, those those two dogs. I I don't know because um because at that time I, I didn't like them very much. Actually, I was like scared of them actually because I was like bitten by um one of them. 
uh, one day uh, uh, she died and uh, my brother was so so sad and uh, I saw that he made like a graveyard for him, for her and just put like a, like a stone stone head uh, RIP and uh, I don't remember the name the name because I was like that was like too many years ago and uh, then these days when I uh, uh, when I grow up I can feel and I can sense the love of a uh, between human and uh, dogs right that they have towards each other and also i read um in uh, one story about um it's in japan that uh, there was a dog then he was like very you know um loyal and uh, honest to his boss or whoever that uh, fed him and uh, he he went with him like every morning to the train station i mean in one in once in the morning and one in the uh, evening when he comes back and this dog i don't remember his name i and i hope that you have seen must have seen or heard about this story right that uh, he went to the uh, train station to see off the boys and then in the evening right and then one day when the boss didn't show up uh, in the evening and the dog was like where i see and he was like just waiting at the train station every day like that until um i believe that he, he he maybe he couldn't realize that the boss has already passed away right and uh, after that i um uh, the people in the area uh noticed that this dog has been like very loyal to its boss right and he he they built up like a statue of this dog in front of the train station in japan have you heard about this story is it very, very impressed isn't it and it's very touching, no? because I I can't believe that there would be a kind of animal who you know has the uh, feeling towards uh, people who take care of them. But uh, I I I also know that dog. I think it's only dog, isn't it? That if you only feed them once they will remember that for the rest of of their lives isn't it that's very impressed no and i i believe that they understand what people are talking to them because i have seen so many clips in the um, either uh, on ig or on tiktoks that uh, the owner talked to the dogs and the dog understand exactly what they what the boss say and then they do and some of them show the feeling of their out of their faces right that's very cute and i i i keep thinking if i have enough space i would like to have some i mean okay if you can't do it right now how about in the future if you could if you could do would you like to have some pets I don't think about a dog or a cat. Maybe it's a smaller pet than them. Like what? A fish. Maybe like the exotic one, like um, lizard, spider, like that. Spider. But not that like a big one. It's like a tiny one really okay i used to have fish as well it's called fish and um i put them at the uh balcony you know in in like a fish fish pond not not too big and not too small and then um 
it's like all in the open air on my balcony, right? And then uh, one day I noticed that there were birds came to, you know, uh, stand by the uh, fish pond. And I didn't realize at first I thought that they were just wanted to drink the water from the fish ponds. And about uh, four or five days later, I noticed that some of my fishes disappear. And at the end, they all gone. And then I, 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 I was thinking, who couldn't it be only just that those birds, you know? So I just thought that, ah, uh, you drain the water from my fish pond and you eat the fish from my fish pond as well. So I was so, so angry with those birds. In actually, I used to like birds a lot, but since I, I realized that they ate my all oh my goldfish, then I hate them. And then I just put the fence to surround them. Apparently, I couldn't have a chance to go and buy some more uh, goldfish because of the COVID. And I, I don't see anybody uh, selling the goldfish again anymore. So that's something that happened to me. But you never have any pets before, have you? No, I haven't. Mm, okay. But it's very strange that you would like to pet the uh, spiders. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Long Nai. Very good job. Okay. Uh, we will do something else. Yeah. Okay. okay.